she thinks every man that speaks the truth online, most popular known as the red pill community guys, she think any man that's speaking the truth online is bitter, jaded, and hurt. And some of the guys have been bitter, jaded. I mean, have been hurt. I don't know about bitter or jaded, but a lot of guys have been hurt, had eye-opening situations, but that don't mean that they're having problems with women. They don't mean they're having problems. It just mean that they see something. And sometimes the truth is not beautiful. And if most people or most guys don't see the truth about a situation, or most women don't see the truth about a situation, running from it is happy, but speaking on it means that you're bitter, jaded, or hurt, or can't get no woman. Is that what it really mean? No, it don't mean that. It don't mean that. It shouldn't mean that. It just means that he can see the truth and he just, he notice. What happens is that, that guy has a, it's either he has an eye-opening experience from a situation or he have an eye-opening experience um, just in general. But that don't mean that he's hurt, bitter, or can't get women. You can look at some of the guys and clearly see that they don't have no problem getting a woman, getting an attractive woman. But just because you can get her don't mean she's right. Don't mean he can he can't reconstruct how she think at a certain age. It's a, something some, most people get stuck in their ways at a certain age. Ain't no changing them. It's unplugging somebody at a certain age out of the matrix. Um, very, very difficult. So I'm, I heard one one of them said, she said, um, these guys online turn me off. They really turn me off. So if they speak in truth and speaking on helping other guys wake up and better themselves on decisions with women and conditioning their body to be at its full capacity, um, how is that turning off? Um, want them to stay blind of the fact that some or most women don't have them in their best interest at heart. Oh, that most women might be more like, be more concerned about their lifestyle, their material things, resources, than their mind, heart, and personality. Quicker to ask you what you do for a living before she asks you your favorite color. More concerned about the numbers in your life instead of the, your feelings in your life. <clears throat> I made up my mind. I said, any woman asks me my age, my, how much I make, I ain't telling them no more. I ain't telling nobody that no more. If they don't come across me on here or on Google or here or they don't come across me online, I ain't telling them. I don't tell them who I am. I ain't telling them nothing about what I do. And I say, if you love me, once I feel that you love me, I'll... I'll tell you, whatever you want. But if you don't love me, what you worrying about that stuff for? You trying to decide if you're going to force yourself to love me? You're going to make me miss the right because my pocket's right? <laughs> That's the title. You're going to make me miss the right because my pocket's right? No, don't do that. Don't force yourself on a man just because his pocket's right. Don't do it. Don't do it. Love a man. Go to church with a man. Pray with a man. Give a man some room for error. Get to learn him. Get to learn his heart. See if he got a good heart. See if he got a good heart. See if he got strong intentions for you, but you got appreciated. You got to check your temperature. Check your appreciation level. For a man 
that's paying you strong attention. Check your appreciation level for a man that's want to spend a lot of time for you. Check your appreciation level. Can you really handle that? Are you going to take it for granted? Or are you just addicted to the newness? Are you addicted to the chase? Because you can tell he's not, you don't have his undivided. Undivided. So, something to think about. It's something to think about. Because uh, so many, they're getting mad. They're getting mad at us for talking the truth and telling the truth. Uh, another woman uh, made a comment and said, about time somebody figured it out. She said, we started to think you guys were slow. So you see that all the different reactions, some of them saying, about time somebody figured it out. We've been doing this for years. The other one said, I'm turned off. I'm turned off by somebody speaking and, and dissecting my behavior, uh, making me analyze myself. So when we speak on this, we're making them analyze themselves because sometimes they're doing this stuff unconsciously. It's not on purpose. Sometimes they're doing this stuff unconsciously. Unconsciously, you're always on my mind. <laughs> so yeah, unconsciously, uh, most of them doing this stuff. They're thinking though, but it's just unconsciously like they're measuring stuff. Oh, I see his family got money. Oh, he got money. I notice when we go out, he don't be, he don't be, you know, he quick to he quick to go in his pocket and bam, it don't seem like it's hurting him. I notice when he go out, he just got like unlimited funds. You know, they watch everything. They can read your confidence level that you know you're not hurting. You ain't crying over your bills. You know, nobody want saying you gotta be with people. But people will force themselves in your life if it's comfortable, even if they don't like your personality. But they, but if they don't like your personality and don't respect you and don't love your heart, they are going to cheat, they are going to flee. They're going to flee. They're going to flee, so. That's, what, that's the only problem I got is that you guys can get with you guys can get with her if she just wants your money or resources if you want but if she's not into your mind, heart, or personality the most um, then if she's not into it the most She's gonna cheat. She's not gonna be all about you, bro. You might wife her up. You might get the title. You might get a hug every blue moon. You might get some babies. But some of them babies may not be yours. Or that one baby may not be yours. Because she married you for security. I believe in the red pill community, they call it beta male provider don't just be a beta male provider you're basically paying for somebody company you're paying for an indirect prost prosta tutoring se sessions you're paying for that it's no love involved in that. So be careful who you choose. And ladies, choose a man for the right reasons. You want him to have money, if you don't got it, help him get it. But find somebody that you can have fun with, and you can love for who they are, not just because of, because the thing, it's only gonna be temporarily if you're only dealing with him because of that. I'm Alan Reed, and everything you need is in the description box. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, um, 
my alternative pages, my, my comedy page, uh, you, um, you, everything is in the description box. Follow and subscribe all my other pages. Um, message me on Instagram, you want a consultation. Message me on Instagram, you want to say hello. Message me on Instagram, you want me to promote something. So that's how you can contact me on there. Um, you can say hello, but if you're not talking business, don't expect me to keep on. Bah, 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 bah. I'm not going to keep on talking, 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 talking. But I love you. But say hello. I'm going to chat with you for a minute. But if you're not talking business, I got a whole line of people that's been messaging me from all walks of life around the world. So make sure you know what you want to say. Um, a, little, a little bit of small talk is cool, but if it ain't too much, um, not too much small talk, we want to get down to some kind of results. And I'm going to promote your TikTok, your your YouTube or something, or you want a consultation or something like that, all right? If you're getting anything out of this page, make a donation to my PayPal, the Cash App. Every, all the links and everything is in the description box. All my songs and albums, everything is in the description box. So uh, much love to you. Stay prayed up. I'm out of rain and I'm out.